Good morning. It's Thursday, September 26, 2024. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Gift, and our scripture is Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, where the good tax collector writes about Jesus talking to his disciples. And calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. One of the things that I know about what makes human beings tick is the changes that happen. Human beings are gifted with free will, and that's no small or cheap matter. C.S. Lewis noted that with each of our decisions, we become either more heavenly or more hellish. The struggle for the weightier issues of life is, as Shakespeare's character posited the dilemma, to be or not to be. Changes which affect our life's pathway are not often just simple or without cost. Spiritual and moral choices are the sums that eventually add up to define our character. Some changes are for the good, others not so good. The fact remains, for good or evil, that we do change as we pass through this journey called life. We see and experience much, and therein we can identify, at least sometimes, the reasons why we change. We see an act of kindness or cruelty, and decide to have that as part of our makeup. Now, the decision may be an unconscious one because an event may have taken us by surprise or some other reason. The surprise may end in confusion, but the event makes a deep impression on our mind, soul, and spirit, and our behavior, good or bad or indifferent, changes. Early in our ministry days, my bride and I were seated at the kitchen table, deep in a discussion over what to do about an unexpected bill of several hundred dollars. We were looking at this bill as if it were Mount Everest, because the salary from the little church we served barely covered feeding and clothing a family of five. Carrie, our youngest child, was only three or four at the time, and she overheard our lament over how to pay this bill. She got up from her toys, very quietly went into her bedroom, and came back to us at the kitchen table. We were sitting there, shell-shocked over our unpayable debt. Then our little babe lifted up a pudgy hand towards me, and in that little outstretched paw was eleven pennies. With her eyes dancing, she said, "'You can use my money, Daddy.' Her spirit of being sacrificially willing to give it all far outweighed the gift. For you today, sometimes a decision knocks on the doorway to our will and we grapple with it like Jacob wrestling with the angel at the Jabbok River. In today's scripture, Jesus told his followers they must make life's weightier issue decisions with the faith of a little child, one who completely trusts his choice to the Father. So, what will you do with the 11 cents you've been given? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.